Reports say the attacker in Dijon shouted Allah Akbar before ploughing his car into several groups of pedestrians. Witnesses say he invoked the children of Palestine to explain his actions. France's interior minister Bernard Cazeneuve visited the injured in hospital. Chacun sait en France que la menace est réelle. Il faut l'anticiper. Everyone in France knows the threat is real. It needs to be anticipated to be countered, and that is what the police and intelligence services are doing every day. The attack happened just hours after a man stabbed and wounded three officers inside a police station Saturday in central France. He also shouted, God is great. Jean-Luc Beck is the public prosecutor in Jules Tour, where the attack happened. An individual who attacks a police station, who doesn't attack Mr. X or Y, who clearly attacks the police while shouting Allahu Akbar, it gives rise to the question about if he was acting alone or on orders. That is resonating across the Western world. Last week, three people were killed in Sydney, Australia, including the gunman, when Iranian-born man Haron Monis took several people hostage in a cafe. He was shot dead when police stormed the building. The self-styled sheikh had demanded an Islamic State flag during the siege, despite apparently having no traceable links to the terror group. The spectre of lone terrorists drawing inspiration from Islamic State is a growing threat, says Sajjan Gohel of the Asia-Pacific Foundation. Self-starters who have not travelled abroad but nevertheless are galvanised by the ISIS narrative and its ideology. People that may not be part of the ISIS machinery but are certainly uh, adopting its ideology. Intelligence services are also battling to contain the threat posed by their own nationals who travel to fight with the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Again, security analyst Sajjan Gohel. Individuals from the West who have gone to Iraq and Syria, linked up with ISIS, taken part in battles and attacks, and then with the intention of coming home potentially to carry out uh, terrorist attacks. The EU says more than 3,000 Europeans have travelled to the region. They're often not on the radar of security services, says French terror expert Jean-Charles Brissard. We don't have any, any pattern or, or profile uh, with these uh, jihadists. And this is why it's difficult to identify them, to um, prevent them from travelling there. Um, they're coming from all social classes. Intelligence reports suggest many foreign fighters are disenchanted and want to return home, but are being forced to stay. Activists claim recently that 100 foreigners had been executed for trying to flee the group. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.